Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I'm here today to bring you another update about the Hider Dive. Uh, so they dropped a update about Beta Phase 1 post-mortem. On a November 11th, we concluded our first Beta Phase. A total of 3,354 players participated with average match time of 41 minutes and 27 seconds. The goal of the Beta Phase 1 was to evaluate the performance of our dedicated servers under load. This is vital to helping us build, appreciate, expect its server load for future deployments, including release. For this reason, we executed, exclusively had ser servers available in the U.S. Central to focus the stress on Pacific servers. This sort of testing is critical for us to do at an early stage so further launches could go smoothly. That being said, we did experience server instability in the first couple of days of the beta phase one. The data was gathered, couldn't have been more valuable, in which we appreciate everyone's patience while we sorted out and patched changes into the server build. The subdued changes in the last couple of weeks, we feel that we are in a much better place to ensure server stability in the future, which means down the road when more beta phases go through, there will be less and less server lag, server issues. Uh, they said we received a total of 1,019 bug reports. Faithfully, a lot of duplications. Smiley face. Many of these were fixed. Patched in door the beta, so thank you for your prompt reports. Others, of course, will be fixed as we go forward in development. I sure you would have given us a new list in the new testing phase because we like to no sleep and it like to have gray hair. We did something that you generally are not supposed to do during a beta, patch in new features, went in collectible supplies, opened up cosmetic shop where you could use these supplies, and added selfie mode on the phone. There were some issues around your supplies not updating the menu, unlocking clothing items not showing up after purchasing. We are glad to say that those buzz have been squashed. Selfie mode ended up being a big hit and was legit. Love seeing some of your shots posted in the Discord. Look forward to more in the future. Here are some of our favorites. And as I'm talking, I probably am showing them to you. Now, moving on to gameplay feedback. Overall, feedback received was quite positive. We know that some changes needed to be made, and it isn't quite there yet. There's obviously things like content such as various hunters, a lot perks, progression, that are of development, we want to try and nail down how people felt the game so we can make the changes necessary in the game the best it to be. We put together a short survey to fill out. We are not, cannot stress how important it is to fill this out. Please stop reading, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much, they had a survey down there and they asked a whole bunch of questions about, like, how the killer felt. Was the killer fun? Uh, was played as a survival fun? A whole bunch of different questions. You guys, uh, if you did watch my review of the beta, I talked about both of them in that. Pretty much my thoughts of it. That's pretty much what I told them in the best way I could make them understand it. Now, right here, I'm probably going to pop up the schedule on the screen. But I'm going to read this out first. As laid out previously, we have multiple beta testing phases. With that, we have to make some alteration to the schedule. What we were planning to do was to do a week of testing, three weeks of developing, a week of testing, three weeks of developing, etc. We believe there are still some large changes that have to be made in the game that prevents us from keeping all sorts of testing schedules. Once we get your feedback from the survey above, we'll reevaluate the testing schedule. Here are some soft dates that we have scheduled for future testing periods beta phase 1.5 they didn't have this one before they had beta phase 2 1.5 is going to be a short one i'm guessing uh it says we want a quick stress test our new server's configuration that'd be from december 7th to the 8th or december 14th to the 15th depending how everything goes with how people get back on the feedback if they have to change a lot It'll be later. If they don't have to change a lot, then it'll be the 7th or 8th. That's only one day beta. So, I don't know how well that's going to do. We'll see. Net beta phase 2, um, which, the last I knew, you could stream. So, beta phase 2 is testing new hunters. 
gameplay alterations, progression rates, and perks. That is in mid-January. That's a little bit away, so they're going to have probably a lot of time to work in December till the mid of January to do a lot of this stuff. So hopefully they have a good enough time. And then they say Beta Phase 3 tests an entire game from front to back with majority of promised features implemented. That'll be early March. So there's going to be huge chunks breaks where they're going to work in. I guess that's okay, but I still hope they they drop some betas here and there so we can still test what they're throwing in. I don't know. Things can change. It's a beta, so anything can just drop. They just say, hey, beta's out now. You can play it now. Um, we have no hard dates for when you will be able to pledge support for our website again, but it will be most, most likely be something in between Beta Phase 1.5 and Beta Phase 2. Now they're going to talk about the Carnival map, the, the ch chosen Carnival map that was chosen to be built by Chris Amatic. No, Chris hasn't been streaming due to his move to Texas and Beta Phase 1. The Carnival map has made some great projection. Most of our core level art is finished, textured, and ready for the, its first detail pass. We took some shots with bright lighting so you can get a better see of some of the art. And I'll show a whole bunch of these pictures for you guys. The first one looks really good. I like the lighting from it. Still looks a little dark. I think they need to work on just a little bit of that lighting. But it's still, I like the, the uh, Ferris wheel's lights. How they like change it off and on. There's different lights. That's pretty cool. That's a cool effect. Um, then they, they show stuff that we've mostly seen. But they ha did add de some details as I'm looking for them. Uh, so yeah, it's coming along very well. Um, the next thing they're going to talk about is UI. Uh, we finally got around to getting more a fresh out of Unify UI to show players inventory. Inventory UI system works with both hunters and survivors. We also changed how we display Stara by moving the display system from below left corner to the left side of your crosshair. This Stara bar only appears when it's radiating or or about halfway departed to give you a warning. This appearance changes aggressively well into our UI style. It's less inserted by appearing when it needed and more easily accessible. You can see an image of your status bar changes and a short video of the inventory in action. So I'll show you the picture of how they changed the statima. I don't know. I don't know if that's a great idea. It might be okay. We'll see. And then the UI it doesn't look much different to me. Now I see the inventory thing. That's pretty cool. But I don't know. It just looks the same to me, pretty much, for the beta. Uh, Backer rewards. Player's heads. We we're implementing our pipeline for getting backer's heads into the game and have had some uh, promising results. We have facial morphing targets working. So if time permits, we could get some um, facial animations in or at very least some expressions during critical moments of gameplay. We're quite happy with the quality we achieved. And here you see... Uh, the Never Surrender um, person who backed the game in game look as he flies as the crow game and showing some of the expressions off in some of the pictures. I can see how their expressions work. We're also been working on a future flesh out of hair tech integrated into it with a backer head template so that all hairstyles can be used on all backers' heads. That's pretty cool. You could give any style of hair to any face. That's pretty cool. If they're a selectable, some people will be able to play with their own backer head if they want that. Some people will just say, all right, you can play with me. And then they show off. Here's a video showcasing some hair color conversation by your character. I'll show you that as I am talking about the next thing. So the next thing that they talked about is Stitches. Um, is one of their killers, or hunters as you want to call it. Stitches is our latest hunter. He's been invented to the game. In the video below, you can see the first pass of inspiration, animation, textures, gameplay, etc. Are all heavy work in progress. Uh, his primary melee weapon is two pairs of scissors. Secondary weapon is Jack in the Bots. We're still prototyping this weapon's effect. 
and ability to a pounce. Right mouse button leaps you into the air and left button attacks. Best use for locating survivors and burning death above. Since his move allows him to wall climb by running up the wall and then has bloody handprints of holding down the jump key. He will be very deadly killer in some maps while being at a disadvantage to others that lack buildings. We're excited to see how people play with this hunter. Like they said, he'll be good in the ones that have a lot of buildings, a lot of walls, because you'll be able to climb up there and get a better view overhead. I think the jacket box could, like, make people scared or something like that, maybe, or put out, like, I don't know. Something something that would make it easier to find them. Because the map can be dark. It's very hard to find people. And I think if they're above you, you got to be smart about your hiding. And that's it. That's end of the update. They did drop quite a few, a little bit of info. It's not a super lot, but they're working on a ton of things, fits and stuff. And I, I think more. it's, it's only could get better. Uh, I, I hope they get a lot of feedback, and I hope they fix the fun of the game. I hope hiding gets a little better. Like I said in my review, I had a lot of problem hiding now, because I don't always want to hide in things. I want to be able to hide in grass and have the killer run by me, and he doesn't even know I'm there. So, yeah. I don't want to ramble on forever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like. Also, kick the shit out of that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys then. And I will never miss my chance to do now. Attention viewer, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe.